Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's episode, we're going to learn how to solve and check an equation with a radical expression in it. So let's start off with an, start off with an example. We'll say um, the radical expression is going to be y, the radical of y minus 1 is equal to 2. So how do you solve that? Uh, the way that you would solve it is that you would square both sides. So you would take the whole equation and square it in order to get rid of this radical sign. And what you're going to get is y minus 1 is equal to 4. So solving this, you're going to add 1 to both sides, and y is equal to 5. So the way that you would check it is that you would take the answer, which is y is equal to 5, and you would plug it in back into the original equation. So you're going to take 5 and put it back in for y, substitute it back in. So in that case, we get the square root of 5 minus 1 is equal to 2. And what we're checking here whether is whether both sides are actually equal, whether um, what we, the answer that we got is true. So this is going to simplify to radical of 4 is equal to 2, and the square root of 2, um, I'm sorry, the square root of 4 is actually plus or minus 2 is equal to 2. So because the equation is telling us that 2 is the answer, positive 2 is actually equal to 2. So we got the right answer. Now let's remember that if we have an equation such as, that says, um, for example, x squared is equal to 4. And we have to use a radical to figure it out. So in this case, what we have to do is take the radical of both sides in order to solve the equation. Here, when you take the radical of x, what you have to remember is that you get x. And when you take a radical of 4, you have to realize that it has to be either plus or minus the answer. So the square root of 4 is 2 and it can be either plus or minus 2. So when you plug it back in, plus 2 squared is going to be equal to 4. Likewise, negative 2 squared is also going to be equal to 4. So remember, when you take the square root of a number, the answer is going to be either positive or negative number. So there you have it. That's how you solve an equation with radicals in it and check it. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.